Brothers, there's a lot of fear being sold to us today. And it's just not today. I wish I could say it's just today, but it's, it's been the way of the world forever. Uh, yeah, if you look back in history, fear has always been a tool, a weapon to divide, to sell whatever someone wanted to sell you. They will sell you fear to lead you to where they want to lead you. And I see on YouTube that a lot of fear has been sold uh, to the public. You know, fear amongst the genders, fear amongst uh, the races, uh, fear uh, with the government. Uh, yeah, fear of someone robbing you, someone breaking into your home, fear of COVID, uh, fear of catching an STD. It's all around. Fear is being sold to you daily. Every uh, minute on the hour, fear has been sold to you. And this is nothing new under the sun. But sometimes I wonder, like, man, when are, you know, the masses going to wake up and understand that Whatever they're selling us, some of this is out of our control. You know, all I can control is the way I respond uh, to things or uh, being, you know, proactive. Uh, but I can't respond and I can't be proactive in fear. I have to, you know, do it through logic and, and love, not fear. You know, fear would take a lot of years off of your life, stress you out, have you having strokes, heart attacks. Uh, Doing, doing, you know, things that's, that's uh, out of character, you know. So you never want to move in fear. You never want someone to lead you in fear. And, and you got to be careful, man, uh, listening to these people because they are capitalizing off of your fear. Yeah, just really think about who we listen to. I don't care if it's your pastor or uh, your parents, your siblings, your friends. Uh, a YouTube or an influencer, really, really listen to them and ask yourself, I mean, what are they really selling? What are they selling? Uh, and uh, that's not love. So if someone's telling you that they're all about love and they're all about prosperity and they're all about good health, right? But they're also hitting you with this fear and selling you fear, you're being manipulated. You're being led astray. Fear and love do not belong together. There's no way. Man, two or, well, two or three days ago, I got tested. I was feeling down. I got tested to see if I had COVID. I did. had the new strand. Uh, so I'm getting over it now. You may notice a, a difference in my voice. So I am getting over it, man, with my, my hot herbal teas. Uh, my concoction is, is working uh, just fine. So I'm getting better, getting that phlegm out of my chest. And so I'm doing well. But, but you know, the doctor said I didn't have a severe case. So I didn't have a, a, a high blood pressure. I didn't have a temperature. And so, you know, I didn't have a, a severe case at all. I guess just at the beginning stages, I guess. I'm not sure. I got a I got a good immune system though. But I remember thinking, man, I don't know, you know, what's gonna happen with this COVID thing. I've heard stories of people dying and things like that. And I know I'm healthy and I have a good immune system, but I don't know how this thing is gonna turn out because I'm hearing all these stories. And so there's a hint of fear, right? Just a hint. But then immediately I said to myself, man, this, this won't be a bad way to go. You know, uh, I don't want to go, but this won't be a bad way to go. I have no control over if I'm going to uh, succumb to this or not. It's out of my hands. And uh, I push every day to get the most out of myself. So I wouldn't die with any regrets. Yeah, I was saying to this, I was saying this to myself, you know, in, in the uh, ER, I couldn't go to care now because it was like a nine hour wait. And yeah, you couldn't even sign up. You had to do it the next morning. So I ended up going to ER. And uh, I said, man, this ain't a bad way to go. And the fear left. 
that little hint of fear left me uh, because I accepted it. I accepted it and it didn't come back because I was disciplined in what I knew and what I accepted. And those are the three things, man, we got to do to combat this tool, this tactic, this spirit of fear. The three things are knowledge. We got to know. We got to know who we are, where we're going, what we're dealing with, uh, acceptance. Once we know, we got to accept what we know. And then the third tactic we're going to use to combat fear, discipline. Once we know, once we accepted what we know, man, we got to walk in discipline. We can't look back. We got to keep, keep that same energy and, and, and move forward. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. So as an example, I'll use this scenario. Let's say uh, we have, which is true, we have the, the STD called HIV out there or, or AIDS is out there in the world, right? Now, there's enough information out there in the world to know a lot about uh, this STD. You know, the statistics are out there, the numbers are out there, how you can get it, uh, the probability of you getting it. Even if you wanna go down to your region or your city or your community, what is the probability of someone having this STD? Uh, the information is out there. Now, that's knowledge. Now, for you uh, not to have this knowledge, you either been under a rock or you're just plain lazy. You want you don't want to research it. Okay, that's one thing. The knowledge is there, so there's no excuse. Uh, secondly, once you have this knowledge, and like many people do, they have this knowledge about uh, this STD, but they refuse to accept it. They may say, "Man, these, these I don't trust these numbers." or it won't happen to me, uh, or I don't believe she has anything, or whatever the case may be, they refuse to accept it. Now, knowledge is power. It is power. Um, I don't know anything more important than knowledge and information, uh, more powerful than, than those things. Knowledge is powerful, but you have to accept it. You have to accept it once you know, once the information is there, you have to accept that's what it is. You have to accept this truth. You have to. I once read years ago that a man who knows the truth but won't accept it is a fool. And I believe that. If you know the truth and you won't accept it, in your head, you're trying to rationalize it or you're trying to create another uh, outcome for the truth. You're a fool. You have to accept things for what they are. Okay. Now, after you have the knowledge and you accepted it, you got to be disciplined. It's one thing to have the knowledge, which, which is the most important step in combating fear. And then you have to accept it, which is the second step. You have to accept it. Um, you have to accept the knowledge. You have to accept truth or you are a fool. Now, once you know the knowledge, you have the knowledge, you embraced it, you accepted it, you have to walk in discipline. And that is the most difficult uh, tactic to grasp, uh, to master is the discipline part because this is a daily walk, right? Once I've accepted, once I have the knowledge, the knowledge is there. The knowledge doesn't change, is there. I don't have to battle with it. Once I accept it, there's no battle in accepting it. I've accepted this truth. So that's not a constant walk. I don't have to relearn. I don't have to re-accept. But the discipline part is a daily walk. That's the most challenging thing to embrace, to grasp, is the discipline part, because that's a daily walk, man. 
uh, you're constantly challenged. And so being disciplined is something you have to constantly revisit every day, uh, throughout the day. Uh, so that's the most difficult thing, man. Uh, do we, are we going to master all three tactics to combat fear? Maybe, maybe not. But there's a secret weapon. A secret weapon, man. That secret weapon is your SQ, your spiritual quotient. Yes, your spiritual intellect. That, that's going to be your secret weapon. How much good karma you have stored in a repository. How well you've treated the universe, your brothers and sisters. How connected you are to the all is going to be your secret weapon. Because that's going to fill in some gaps when maybe you faltered, came up short. And you're like, man, I didn't deserve to be spared. Or man, I dodged a bullet. That's that good karma coming your way. But you got to save it up, man. You got to put out good energy out there and then to come back to you when you do fall short. That's the secret, secret weapon. So brothers, don't walk around here listening to these guys, man. There's a lot. Listen to some listening to some of these guys. There's a lot of guys out here selling you fear, uh, having you fear uh women, having you to fear uh gold diggers, uh having you to fear scammers or I mean we can go on having you to fear divorce, having you to fear marriage. We can go on and on, man. I, I see it a lot. Um Democrats fearing Republicans, Republicans fearing Democrats, the racists fearing one another. We we can go on and on. The government fearing the people, the people fearing the government. Uh COVID. It, it's out there, man. Fear is being sold every day. But uh knowledge man knowledge know who you are get the information know who you are why are you here study yourself study people study the all study god know why you're here get the knowledge and then accept it hey man don't let anyone knock you off your rock knock you off your 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 space your block know who you are stand on it knowledge is power and accepting it, being steadfast in what you know, being cemented in what you know and the knowledge you have, being cemented in that, accepting it. That's the second step, man. And then walking in that discipline. That's the constant challenge uh, that we face every day, throughout the day, is discipline. I know I do. That, that's the next level to it. And putting good energy out there, man you know, treating people well. You know, I don't believe in being nice. Uh, if you look up the original meaning of the word nice is to be foolish. So I'm not nice. I am kind. I, I try to practice being kind, but I'm not nice. Uh, there's a difference. Uh, but just putting that good energy out there, giving people the good energy, giving the all the universe good energy. And so when you do fall short, uh, the gaps will be filled and you'll get that good karma coming back your way because you got so much stored up in, in the repository. You got so much stored up in the all, man, you, you do for something to come back when you fall short, you, you know, you're able to dodge some bullets. You're able, and we call it grace and mercy because of what you put out there, you, whatever you get back, man, is what, what you put out. Always remember that, but don't buy fear. Don't buy it. You know, it does you no good. It's worthless. Fear is worthless. It's only valuable to the person selling it to you. It means nothing to the buyer. So don't listen to these guys that, that are selling you fear or talking, you know, with, with, with a dual tongue. Yeah, watch out for these guys, man. We're not going in 2022 with fear. We're not buying any fear. We're not victims. We're victors. And we know what we know. We accept what we know. We're walking in discipline, man, in 2022. And when we fall short, hey, man, we got so much good karma started, stored up in the repository that we'll still be okay. All right, man, let me know what you guys think. We're going in 2022 victorious, brothers. 
All right. From me to you, love, peace.